Hi besties, it's Bella. I'm here on my mommy, Lisa Marie's channel to say welcome. She has a great video for you today and I can't wait for you to see it. Please don't click away. Enjoy! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is great to see you. Today, I have five summer DIYs for you using Dollar Tree items and this video is sponsored by Hippo. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute. And this is a collaboration with some of my crafty friends. But for now, let's get started. Hippo is a company that offers various things to help you with your DIYing and crafts. Today, we're gonna to be talking about sublimation and I'm gonna be using their sublimation paper and ink and I'll show you more about about that as we go. It's so cool, you're going to love it. Now I use Canva to design in. It's an app or a program and it's very easy to use, but I'm not gonna spend any time in this video instructing you on how to use Canva because I have a friend who made an incredible video who can tell you everything you need to know in like 10 minutes to get you started. So what I'm gonna do is just show you really quick the kind of things you can make on Canva. I'm gonna scroll through the create a design menu. You can see all the different things that you can do, but then I'm gonna flip you over just real quick and let you know whose video you can watch to learn how. Her name is Whitney from Whiskey and Wit and she is excellent at a Canva tutorial. I'm just gonna show you which video it is and I'll put the link in my description box. I know that you'll be able to do it from watching her video. There it is, learn Canva in under 10 minutes. I love Canva for my small business. It's no secret, I share it here on my channel all the time. It is so much easier than you would think. Seriously, give me 10 minutes and I will have you creating in Canva even if you have never designed before. The first step in doing sublimation is having a sublimation printer set up. Hippo sent me this Epson printer and this sublimation ink. It comes with other ink. You're not gonna use the ink that it came with, you're just going to use the sublimation ink. There it is. Once you turn it into a sublimation printer, you will not ever go back. So you can also use the app on your phone, the Epson Smart Panel, which is what I did. Now you open up that little door and then there's the four ink colors and they want you to make sure you put the right ink in the right color. So there's the black one first and literally all you do is open the lid and there's a little hole at the top there and you're gonna turn it upside down and there's a spot where it just goes right in. Underneath, if you look directly below that, is the little tank and it's starting to fill up. You can kind of see that one on the far left there, it's starting to fill up. It takes about 50 seconds for each one of those to fill up. You don't have to worry about it overflowing because it will stop automatically when it's full. So even if you let it sit there for three minutes, it wouldn't be a problem. You just pick it up, take it off, put the lid on, and then close the little port where you open that up. And then you go to the next color. So I'm gonna do the yellow next. I'm not gonna make you guys watch 50 seconds of each one. We're just gonna do it really quickly. So now the yellow one is done. And then we're gonna go on to the magenta. Then the last one is the cyan or the blue, and we'll put that one in. And then you can see those little ink tanks down below there are filling up right now. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. See, they're all filled. And there's a line that you're supposed to fill them to. And now you follow along on the app and you answer the questions and it tells you what to do next. It's so easy. And basically the printer is ready to go so we can print a test page. So now I have the Hippo sublimation paper that they sent me. And Hippo was so nice to give me a 20% discount link for you guys for the paper and the ink. It'll be down in my description box below. And you get quite a few pages in there. It just tells you where to stick it in the back. There's a little slot to open up there. And then you pull out the guide where it's gonna land, where the paper comes out. And then there's a little stopper on the end and here it comes and it's printing the test page. So everything was fine. If it wasn't, it would tell you what to do next, you know, what you have to do to make sure that the printer's working properly. And now I can just select my printer from the computer and I can print my designs right from Canva. I'm gonna show you only one example of me printing the paper because it looks the same every time, just a different design. So I literally chose the Epson 2800 printer from Canva and I printed my design right here that I'm gonna use on some little slippers from the Dollar Tree. And there it is, and I mirrored it. You always have to mirror it if it has words or anything that you know has to be in a certain order it was really just that easy and now we're gonna move on to the actual projects and I'll show you what I decided to make for this DIY I designed this picture in Canva and this is a Dollar Tree sign that I got from their nautical area I'm just going to heat up that little shell and then use a spatula tool that I have and you know dig under it a little bit and it'll loosen right up and come off which makes it really easy 
Then I'm going to take off the hanger, it just slips right back through the holes. And I'm gonna do the same thing with those frame pieces, heat them up and then use my spatula to take them off. Then I'm gonna take a piece of craft paper with hot glue and I'm just gonna put it around the back and then cut off the excess. I like to do this before I put too much on it because that way I don't have to keep turning it over you know, on its face. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and get all four sides attached with the hot glue, and then I'll do a much better trim around the edges. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna poke some holes back through the holes with this little wire thing I saved, and just make sure there's a nice clear path for later when I wanna put the hanger back on. Next, I'm gonna paint the back with the Rust-Oleum Chalk Linen White Paint. I'm gonna do two really good coats and dry it, and then I'm gonna use my polyurethane and do two really good coats of that and make sure it's completely dry. That's critical for the sublimation process on wood. There's that design I made. I fussy cut it so it's smaller. And then I'm gonna take the frame pieces and use my burnt umber, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint that on there all around the edges and put that aside to dry. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape my design to the piece of wood that I put the polyurethane on face down with some heat resistant tape. I'm gonna take it over to the heat press and I'm gonna set it at 330 degrees. And I did this one for 54 seconds. And I'm just going according to whatever manufacturer instructions that I have, in this case, Hippo sublimation paper. And I wanna make sure that it's in there long enough so that the design will set. Once it's done, I took it off, we let it cool, and then I'm gonna spray the whole thing down where the, where the paper is with water. I'm gonna use a wet sponge and make sure it's saturated. This is very important because you're gonna peel off that paper and underneath it is gonna be the design and it's actually kind of fun. It's like a reveal. Here we go, look at this. The first rip and there's the design. And now, you know, it's getting wet and it's soaking into the paper and I'm just going to rip it all off. Now with my fingers, I'm gonna to try to pull off the biggest pieces of paper and then I'll go back over it with the sponge to clean off any residue from the paper and the design becomes even more vibrant. I don't know about you guys, but I love this. <laughs> and I think it looks like watercolor. It's almost like I painted a watercolor, but I didn't because I couldn't have done this. I'm not an artist like that. Anyway, you could create any design in a graphic arts program and then put it on sublimation paper, put it on a canvas, uh, on, excuse me, on a piece of wood like this that you covered with polyurethane and look how gorgeous it is. I'm gonna dry off all that water now. The design looks amazing. I'm gonna use my Burnt Umber Paint by Apple Barrel. I'm gonna use a chippy brush. I'm gonna spray some water with my mister right over the top of the picture. And then I'm gonna just brush gently across, very much like a dry brush where you wipe most of it off and then just drag the rest across and give it a little bit of that antique look. I'm absolutely in love with this piece. I am so excited about it. It's just my favorite in this whole video. I just think it came out beautiful. You have to let me know what you think. Now I'm gonna cover that with the polyurethane as well. Now I'm gonna take my frame pieces with hot glue and I'm gonna put them back together, lining up the holes at the top. And then I'll put the rest of the three pieces on. I always start with that top piece because I need to make sure that I can get the hanger back on it. Now, if you don't wanna use the hanger, just fill in the holes, paint it, and then you're good to go and just put a hanger on the back. Anyway, I am in love with this. I hope you guys like it. I hope it'll make you want to try sublimation. I was so excited when Hippo sent me these things because this is so fun. I, I can think of so many possibilities that I can do with this. And we are going to do some more in this video. So here I go, reassembling the frame, putting the hanger back on. And that's it, you guys. This is done. Oh, except I also want to put polyurethane around the frame because I hadn't done that yet, which is very easy. I'm just using a little foam brush, getting around all of the edges. And then I noticed on the side a little bit of the white paint on the bottom piece that soaked through. So I'm just using a furniture marker from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just touching that up super quick. Any brown marker will work. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I decided to name this one Summer Porch. Did I mention how much I love this one? <laughs> Today's video is not only sponsored by Hippo, but it's a summer friend collaboration. Our host is Liana DIY. She has a beautiful channel. You'll definitely want to check her out. And our co-host is Chantel from Love and Life's Journey. Chantel is so talented and she does farmhouse decor. The rest of us are listed right here and you will love every channel. You'll get great summer inspiration and there's a playlist down in the description box and in my pinned comment. So be sure to check it out. If you're coming over from one of the other channels, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it and I hope you will click the subscribe button and join me for future videos.
for this project, I made a design, some little flowers over Be Still, which is like the scripture, Be Still and Know That I'm God, my favorite scripture. And I did it in a font that's kind of like Ray Dunn looking font. And I got these slippers at the Dollar Tree. And now I'm just gonna cut out each of those little pieces because I don't want to use the whole big piece of paper, you know, the sublimation paper over the top of the slippers. And so I'm going to turn it over and put it on the top with the heat resistant tape, one on each slipper. And what I like about these is in the winter, I have these really big heavy slippers and I would just be way too hot in the summer. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to have these super light ones, nothing fancy, but to personalize them. Oh, how cute is this? Anyway, so, and then to remind myself, there's my favorite scripture, you know, or at least the enough of it to remind me. So I got them in place on top of the pads on the heat press. I'm gonna put the parchment paper. Now this is thicker, so I really have to kind of maneuver, but I don't want to touch that heat press because it's hot. Actually, it's at 330 degrees and I'm doing this one for 45 seconds. It's a little thicker. So, um, of course, the magic of editing, it's done now. And I'm gonna move that off the top. And it's very hot, so of course I'm kind of checking. And there it is, the design went through. I'm so excited. Wait, do you see how cute these are? Oh my gosh. The only thing, I put one one direction and one the other. <laughs> so you can see it if you're coming or going. That's what I decided anyway, but they're so cute. I just love those flowers and I thought that's so delicate. Isn't that adorable? You could give these as a gift. What a great idea. If you are enjoying this video, I would ask you to hit that like button. It helps me by telling YouTube to show my video to more people, so thank you. For this personalized DIY, I'm gonna take this graphic design that I made, which is my logo for my channel, and I'm gonna use a canvas from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mirror that particular design on my sublimation paper. I'm going to stick everything on the heat press, I'm gonna do it for the appropriate time. I did it at 330 degrees for 40 seconds. And when it cools off, I'm gonna pull everything off. It's still a little warm, be very careful. All the heat's coming from that top piece. And there it is, right on my canvas. It looks so good. Now we're gonna to go to my craft table and I'm going to figure out how big I need to make the canvas and how I'm gonna treat this really pretty home decor piece from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my heat tool that I got from Amazon to get, go ahead and remove that sand dollar and I'm just gonna use a little like spatula tool and you can use anything that you can like kind of pry under there and it just comes off after you put a little heat on it loosens the glue and then I'm gonna do the take off the hanger it just goes right through the holes and then I'm gonna heat up those little frame pieces and I'm gonna take my spatula and do the exact same thing and just slide it under there and then take off the pieces they are individual I'm not going to even bother taking off the paper because I'm going to be putting everything on the back side. So I'm going to use my Moss Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint the back. Of course, I don't have to paint the whole thing because I'm going to be putting that piece of canvas on there with my logo, but I did just because that's how I am. And now I'm going to take some white linen white paint from Rust-Oleum. It's a chalk paint and I'm going to paint just the top and the ends all around the frame pieces. Now I'm going to use my square ruler and I'm going to figure out how big I want to cut out my piece. That's up to you, whatever you do. I just wanted a small amount of the canvas showing that has the design on it. So I made, it's not quite a square, it's a little bit of a rectangle. I've got this really cool roller adhesive and I have it in my Amazon store and it's for paper crafting, but if you just rub it on the back side of the canvas, it leaves a sticky tape. It's not messy, like even, even my glue stick dries out eventually, this does not. And so this is a really nice alternative to a wet glue or even a glue stick. It's more than a dollar though, or dollar 25, but it was worth it. I got it um, on a special, when it was on special on Amazon, and it came in a package of several, which was really, really nice. Anyway, now I'm going to take some craft paper. It's a little wrinkly. I don't care, I save all kinds of paper like this, whether they're bags or whatever. And I just hot glue it around the edges to the back and then I trim up those edges. And now I have a nice clean back. The next thing I need to do is poke back through those holes. And I've got this kind of plastic covered wire that I saved from something and I just use that. Now I've got these half beads also from Amazon. And I start by putting one in each corner and then in the middle of those and I keep doing it until I fill up the entire edges. And I just love that look. I'm gonna use my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue. Just put a little bit on the back. It's very good glue 
glue for this and then I'm just gonna position it. I'm not gonna show me doing all of them, just a few, but you understand I'm doing the same thing to all of them. And then I eventually actually used a piece of the frame to keep them straight as I put them on. Now I'm going to put the frame back on and for that I'll just use hot glue. These things don't wipe anything and it's just totally worth doing it with the hot glue. It's so much easier and faster. So I'm just putting it on and the only weird thing, you know, Dollar Tree, Two pieces aren't the same. So this one, it didn't, it just wasn't a perfect fit. I did the best I could. You can't even hardly notice unless you look really close. Now I'm gonna put that hanger back on because I actually like that little hanger that was on there. There it is, but I wanna cover it with a nice top coat. So I'm gonna use my polyurethane by Minwax and I covered the whole thing. You can see the shine. This is such a fun and easy project. You could put anything you want on that canvas, a picture, a design, words, whatever you want. This sublimation thing is really fun. For this next project, I am designing some graphics for a little blanket for Bella. I wanted her to have a nice little summer blanket and a couple little designs on it. I found this adorable little fleece blanket at the Dollar Tree, it's pink. There's the design mirrored now, ready to go. And I'm gonna cut out each of those three pieces separate so I can place them where I want them. So the little heart with the paws, one piece, the bone with the paw print, and then where it says just the words, Bella's blankie. So now I'm positioning the blanket on top of that pad, which is part of the heat press, where I will lay down the three pieces of the design and I will use heat resistant tape to put on the ends and hold it in place. Now that I have my three pieces in position, I will get some parchment paper and lay it over the top before I start to press. So now I'll bring it over, then I will pull it down and I will do this one at 330 degrees for 40 seconds. And then we'll skip ahead and now I'm releasing it after the timer went off. I will take off the parchment paper. It's still hot, so I like to wait, make sure it's not too hot to touch, but I also wanna make sure it's really done in case I needed to give it a little more time and this one was ready to go. Now that it's cooled off just a little bit, I can go ahead and pull off the design paper and look how cute that little bone is. And there's the Bella's blankie and here's the little heart. And I just think this is adorable. And let me tell you, that dog loves her blankets. For this DIY, I made this design with my three dogs' names on it and some paws around the outside. I end up not using the paw part, but I print that out, but first I mirrored it so it's in reverse. And then I've got these microfiber cleaning towels from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use the fluorescent green one because the sublimation just doesn't work as well on darker things. It also works best on polyester. So I'm gonna go ahead and decide where I want to use this. I'm gonna set it on top of my heat press in the area I wanna press on it. And there is my design, and it is now mirrored and I'm gonna cut it out so that it's a smaller piece of paper and just the part that I want since I didn't want those little paws around the outside. And there they are, Bella, Shane, and Sophie. I'm gonna put their names right on this little towel because we'll use it to wipe their paws when they come in when it's a little damp outside. And in the summer, sometimes if anybody waters, you know, their feet get wet. So it's nice to have a nice, bright, summery towel ready to go. I'm gonna put my parchment paper on top. I'm gonna set my press, pull it over right on top of it. And then I'm gonna pull it down. It's set at 3.30 and I'm gonna do this one for 40 seconds. Now it's done. As it cools off, I'll be able to take that little piece off. And I did use the heat resistant tape on this and there it is. It came out so cute. It's just gonna be so bright. My husband won't be able to miss it and we'll be able to use it for our dog paws. I love this because it's practical and cute and it's just so fun. Tell me what you guys think. Now for one last look at all five Dollar Tree DIYs using sublimation from Hippo. Thank you Hippo for helping to support my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I had a great time doing it. Don't forget all the links for the products and the discount will be down in my description box. The playlist for the collaboration will also be down in my description box for some more summer inspiration. Tell me down below what's your favorite thing to do in the summer. My favorite thing to do is travel. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will come back again and I want you to know that you are truly a blessing to me. I'm going to have a couple other videos up here on the screen. If you like this one, I hope you'll click on one of those and watch that. If you do, I'll see you there. Bye.